this is Professor Smith. Today we will study the future tense in French. The future tense in French, the immediate future, as it is called, futur proche, and uh, uh, it is formed using the verb aller, conjugated, plus infinitive. The infinitive will be the action verb. So it's a construction uh, very similar to the English to be going to plus infinitive. Uh, like for example, I'm going to eat at the restaurant. Uh, same construction. Uh, why are we studying the future proche? Because you can express actions in future by conjugating only the verb aller. So you don't need to know the uh, conjugation in the future tense of any verb, just the verb aller. It is more colloquial and is used all the time in France. So you need to know how to conjugate the verb aller, which is je vais, tu vas. Il, elle, on va, nous allons, vous allez, ils, elles, vont. It's an irregular verb and you need to memorize it. How do we form sentences? So to form a sentence in the future, future proche in French, we will conjugate the verb aller according to the subject and add the infinitive of the verb that expresses the action. So let's go back to the original sentence. I'm going to eat at the restaurant. Je vais manger. Au restaurant. So we have the verb aller, je vais, and the infinitive of the action verb. The action is to eat, so manger. Let's see some example. He's going to swim. Il va nager. Il va is the verb aller. Nager is the action, to swim. You are going to love this. Tu vas aimer ça. Tu vas, verb aller. Aimer is uh, the uh, infinitive of the action verb, which is to love. We're going to study. Nous allons étudier. She's going to cook. Elle va faire la cuisine. So, what if we want to say that we're not going to do something in the immediate future? Well, we use ne pas, as usual. So, the original sentence again, again je vais manger au restaurant. If I want to say I'm not going to eat at the restaurant, je ne vais pas manger au restaurant. So you have to note that only the verb aller is placed between ne et pas. The action verb, which is manger, is outside, ne pas. So here it is, the negative conjugation. Je ne vais pas, tu ne vas pas, il, elle, on ne va pas, nous n'allons pas, vous n'allez pas. Ils, elles ne vont pas. And to that, of course, you add the infinitive. Merci.